What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Colonia Del Rey RV in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we are gonna take a look at an incredibly well-loaded, well-equipped, and reasonably expensive super compact travel trailer that's heavier than you might think. Now, a lot of that sounded kind of negative, but it's really not. It's the fact of whenever you, you know, you ask for someone to go slightly higher in terms of quality materials, build, this is what you get. You get a Flagstaff micro light. So we're gonna take a closer look at this. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so let's start by taking a look at the numbers on this uh, relatively small unit. Gross vehicle weight rating, 6,841 pounds. Cargo capacity, 1,686 pounds. This thing rides on twin 3,880 pound axles and it has D-rated tires. Now, from a towability perspective, because of its size, if this thing weighed significantly less, like 2,000 pounds less, I would say most half-ton trucks could haul this. It wouldn't be a problem at all. But it's a relatively heavy unit, and this thing approaches what I would consider to be a super well-equipped half-ton truck, max tow and all of that, or even a three-quarter ton truck with a good amount of cargo capacity. And when I talk about cargo capacity, you want a truck with about 2,000 pounds worth of cargo capacity, because this unit's going to transfer about 800 pounds or more to the back of your truck whenever it's fully loaded for camping. So if you factor that plus about 900 pounds worth of people, supplies, cargo, if it's a family of four in your truck that you're towing it with, you're talking like 1,700 or 1,800 or more pounds worth of overall payload capacity that a truck would need to be able to handle this plus the people. So I hope that explanation kind of helps. From a dry weight perspective, 5,096 pounds, it's 22 feet, four inches long. So very, very, very short, compact travel trailer, but very heavy for its size. So heavy, in fact, that you actually see twin axles on this thing. So Flagstaff, I believe, puts twin axles on everything, but it kind of goes to show that they build their units a little bit more robust to require the twin axles. Front power tongue jack. You have twin 30-pound propane, twin battery boxes. I mean, a lot of things that kind of make this thing scream. It's a little heavier. All right, so we're going to take a look inside of this Flagstaff 21DS front bed unit. All right, so as we walk in, we're going up the Moride step above steps. Inside, directly to your right, is a Murphy bed, complete with a sofa right here. So when you think about forward weight, sofas are heavy. Murphy beds are heavy. The cabinetry around it is heavy. All of this stuff adds weight. You factor in the weight of your propane tanks. Each one of them is probably going to weigh close to 55 pounds. You factor in the weight of your batteries. Depending on the type of batteries you have, they can weigh upwards of 65 to 70 pounds each. So, you know, whenever you put all of this together, you're talking about a lot of forward weight. And that's what I talk about taking away from your truck's payload capacity. But yeah, you have a queen size Murphy bed up here. Maybe. So the first thing I need to do is I believe pull this out. It's gonna drop that down into a jackknife sofa. So if you don't wanna use it as a Murphy bed and just a small jackknife sofa, you have that capability. And then you simply pull this down. The legs will stick out off the bottom and the mattress will fall down. All right, so there we go. Pulled the Murphy bed down. That's what it looks like in this position versus the other. You have the beautiful front window up here that you can see out of. You have a nice curtain divider to kind of separate the spot right here. Power connections, everything you need down here for your nightstands. You have cabinetry storage and drawers on both sides. Working our way over here. Very, very nice size kitchen. You have your pantry over here in the corner. A huge wraparound booth style dinette with storage underneath each one of these seats. This can actually be removed if you want to open the space up even more. Price wise, this has an MSRP of $47,188, sale price of $34,917. So it is uh, more than $10,000 off of the MSRP. Construction quality on these things is absolutely great compared to a lot of units that it competes against. Kitchen area, I love the flip up countertop you have right here. This is all Corian. This is a hard solid surface countertop. It's not just that thermofoil where it's like wood with a kind of a, a water impervious material on it. This is all solid surface. Your controls right here. I do wish they would have put these controls maybe up here or maybe even up here just so you didn't have the chance of kids pressing buttons on these things because sometimes they like to go exploring. Have the Wi-Fi uh, booster in here as well. 
plus your entertainment system. You have some interesting storage drawers on this side of the kitchen. Maybe that's where you put your silverware. Then you have a Furion TV that's on a swivel arm. Over here, you have your three burner cooktop and oven. You have some more storage right here. This is for little sponge and scrubbers, silverware. I like the fact that they put a bunch of drawers there. Super compact, Magic Chef compact uh, microwave. Thermostat over here, vent. Very cool, single air conditioning system. It is a Coleman mock unit. You have some speakers also mounted above. Very nice, light, airy tones throughout this whole unit as well. So it feels very, very nice and light and fresh and open, even though it's over 100 degrees outside. You have your pantry space right here. You have your gas electric refrigerator right here. Would have been cool to see a 12 volt refrigerator in here, to be honest. And I'm guessing that's more storage. Nope, that is access to plumbing. Okay, so yeah, so you take that out, you pop this panel off, and there's plumbing connections under there. Very, very bright bathroom. You have your medicine cabinet over here. Nice size plastic basin sink. Plus, you have a spot for toothbrushes, cups, things like that. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Plenty of room in front of the toilet, which is nice. A lot of room for uh, towels, toiletries, and such. And then you have this magnetically closing door for the uh, cornered shower. This does have the shower miser system, which you see that right there. That actually changes color whenever the water is at temperature, so you don't have to just keep your shower running until it gets hot. You see that it's shifted color right there, and you know when the water's hot, so you can go ahead and just turn it on, and you don't waste any water. Very cool. All right, what do you guys think? So we are going to take a look on the outside of this unit and see what it's all about. Okay, starting from the front, working our way back. Again, power front tongue jack, twin 30-pound propane can storage. That is certainly a lot more propane than most RVs this size would typically carry. Typically, you'd see 20-pound cans, but 30-pound propane cans actually weigh 55 pounds each when they're full. You have a twin battery box up front as well. Scissor jacks all the way around. This is going to be your front pass-through storage. Well, it's kind of an interesting pass-through storage because your Murphy bed's in here. That's why, but you definitely have pass-through storage and you have some area to store stuff right there as well. All right, so not only did they give you a friction hinge door, but they also put a door holder here, which is really nice because sometimes it can be so windy that the friction hinge doesn't really matter. Flagstaff difference, double-sided Asdell construction. So most RVs put Asdell, with Asdell at least, put Asdell just on the outside but Flagstaff puts it on both sides. Six side aluminum, fully uh, laminated walkable roof, aluminum truss roof, automotive glass windshield, painted front cap, uh, frameless windows, aluminum floor joists, five eighths inch tug and groove plywood floor. That's a big, big feature to have. Max air fans, it's all key to like. Backup camera prep, that's pretty much standard on everything. The double 30 pound cans, double battery box. Has a 190 watt solar panel with a 1000 watt inverter and a 30 amp charge controller. That's very cool. I didn't see it, but they say it's up there. So I believe there's a 190 watt panel with a 1000 watt inverter on a 22 foot long trailer. And that's including the A-frame, which means the body of this thing is only like 17 feet long. Crazy. Goodyear endurance tires, Dexter torsion axles, Moride strut assist steps. So these are actually strut assist. You can see it right there. Uh, it has the tire pressure monitoring system. Just really, really cool. They do a lot of really great things with these flagstaffs. You can see the Goodyear endurance tires right here. Torsion axles, so there's not going to be like a suspension equalizer in between them. You can see the uh, setup right there. Rides on a eight inch I-beam frame. So it's got a significant frame size for this size of RV. Outside of your furnace, power connections and everything so you can hang a TV out here. Again, your stabilizer jacks, four inch tubular bumper, spare tire hanging off of it, all LED lighting. It even has the, the vent covers up top as well already installed. Back here, this is likely to be, okay, access to your water pump. So if you have to service the water pump, which is one of those items that is more prone to failure than some of the other things, you have access to it from back here, which is really nice. Outside shower, outside of your refrigerator, you also have a vent up top. Your water connection panel right here. 
outside of your water heater. You have your 30 amp connection right here as well. Sewer connections are down here. And then your single slide out on this thing is a rack and pinion slide, which you typically don't see on this size of unit. Most of the time, they're so focused on weight savings on these small units that they would put a, a Schwintech slide or maybe even a, a, a cable driven slide. But to see a rack and pinion slide out on a very small unit like this is very, very rare. More storage here. This is underneath your booth dinette. Probably have more storage here as well. So you can see how they utilize just about every space they can for storage, which is really nice. So when I talk about these Flagstaffs, you know, a lot of people are like, why don't they do this? Why don't these brands do that? Flagstaff does a lot of the things people want RV manufacturers to do, but you will need to understand that it will be heavier, significantly heavier. I mean, something like this, I filmed one recently that was longer than this. It was actually longer and it looked larger. It had a single axle, it weighed like 4,300 pounds, gross. So this weighs over 2,000 pounds more than that and it's smaller because of all the frame materials, all of the stuff that they've put on it, the twin axles, all of that, the heavier propane cans, the heavier batteries, the front power tongue jack, all of this stuff, it adds weight. So you wanna be sure that you know whenever you're, you're looking for an RV, if you want something that's built a little stronger, a little better, you might have to pay quite a bit more for it and you're also gonna get something heavier, so you may need to modify your tow vehicle. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.